He got to the Olympic Oval in Salt Lake City on time, but Apollo was already hard at work. He's warmed up and clocked in some time on a stationary bike, and he was now doing something called turn belt exercises. Okay, so the turn belt, we take this long belt, which is essentially, it looks like a seat belt. I wrap it around my waist, and whoever's holding me wraps around his waist, and he provides tension. So I basically simulate the lean that I'm going to have on the ice. You know, our sport is so unorthodox in the way you have to train for it. All the small, intricate little muscles, your core, your lower back, your hips, your quads, your calves, your ankles, your knees. I mean, everything um, has to work in synchronicity. And that's one of the exercises that really helps with that. The U.S. speed skating team had a 12-hour day the day before. And although they were sore, it didn't appear to slow them down. After training on the track, they prepped to get on the ice. You'll see why in a minute, but if the molding or the blades of these custom-made boots change at all, even a tiny difference could cost the skater a race. The equipment is like one of the most important parts of short track. You can be the fittest guy, the strongest guy, train the hardest, and it means absolutely nothing if you get on the ice and you can't put it together because your equipment's holding you back. It's gonna hurt. It's a challenge to catch these skaters on camera, mostly because they whiz by at 40 miles an hour. As the skater glides over the ice, the friction creates razor-sharp grooves that hold them in place through the tight curve. But when you look closer, the physics seem totally impossible, and the angles are sometimes unbelievable. The concept behind the water is when the ice is dry, um, you kinda, it's a little bit brittle. When we pour water on, it just gives the ice a little bit more grip, and we're actually not skating on the ice, we're actually skating on water. It's pretty cool, actually. In the next few hours, we watch the team slice through the ice and go through training drill after training drill to prepare for competition. When I'm completely immersed in my zone and focused, um, it's, everything slows down. And I feel like I have a lot of time and a lot of space. When people watch on TV, they're like, oh my gosh, how did this guy just fit in this space? They're so tight. But for some reason, I can scan and I can see when this guy's going to slip, when this guy's going to move out where there's an opening. And it may only be for like, you know, a tenth of a second, if that. And boom, if I can fit in that hole, I will. That's what it's all about, you know, never hesitating. And once you commit, you commit. In between sets, Apollo and his coaches intently discuss and rebuild his form over and over again. After a while, it makes sense. A lifetime of training is literally riding on razor blades. My motto this, this season and for the rest of this year is have no regrets. You know, I want no regrets in my life. And that's why we push so hard. That's why we train so hard. That's why this morning, like I knew I was gonna be dead. I knew I was gonna be hurting. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's what it's about. This is what it's about, is when I'm dead, before I even get on the ice for the morning training, I go out there, I put in as much effort and I focus, like that's the last two hours of preparation for the games. That's, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> the end product is visually impressive, but it takes a lot more than just ice training to be truly great. Speed skating is a delicate balance of strength, agility, power, and precision. The athletes' dry land workouts include running, biking, and weightlifting. But on this day, we filmed one important portion of their training, the stair workout. It's perfect for skating because you know, we just finished kind of slow, long pushes on the ice. And what that essentially does, and the third training we do, it recruits all these muscles along your quads, your hips, your calf muscles, your ankles, to fire at once. So like one cycle is every step, every third step, every fifth step. And then that's one set. And we do 14 sets of that. And then we did, you know, the individual legs going up, three sets, three sets, going side, three sets, three sets. And then double leg was three sets as well. They make it look easy, but you should know that this exercise took 45 minutes. If you want to lose weight, doing some high intensity training like that, you go slice through fat. Lock and load. Load lock. After the stairs, Ono ran a mile on the outside track to warm down, and then finally took some time off to give me a quick lesson. <laughs> Try to push to the side. Think of yourself as crouching like a ball. Do you see this motion right here? These are your legs here. This is your back. You're sitting a little bit high, but what you want, you want this to be parallel. So you want to be down about this much further. 
Let's go. <laughs> there you go. Okay.